Picture a walker in complete darkness, exploring a mountain range step by step, where each footstep depends only on where they stand right now, not where they started, and somehow, through this simple process, they map out the entire landscape perfectly. This is Monte Carlo Markov Chains, and what you're seeing here is exactly that problem. You see, when we try to understand complex probability distributions, the ones we encounter in real machine learning and statistics, we face a fundamental challenge. These distributions have multiple peaks, weird shapes, and often exist in dimensions so high we can't even visualize them. Traditional sampling methods try to cover the entire space randomly, throwing points everywhere, and hoping some land in the right spots. But look at what happens. Most of our samples, those red dots, completely miss the target, and we're wasting enormous computational resources just to get a few useful green points that actually tell us about our distribution. Except reject sampling, which is what you're seeing now with this bounding box approach. Seems logical at first. We draw a box around our target distribution and randomly sample within it, accepting points under the curve and rejecting those above. But watch the inefficiency unfold before your eyes. Out of 30 samples, we're rejecting most of them, and this gets exponentially worse as dimensions increase or distributions become more complex because that green box needs to grow larger and larger to encompass all the peaks leading to acceptance rates that drop to less than 1% in real applications.